नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स इंडियन हिस्ट्री इज कंप्लीटली चेंज्ड एंड रियल फैक्ट्स आर कैप्ट हिडन वी हैव बीन रीडिंग अबाउट मुगल एम्प्रर्स एज वेरी ग्रेट पीपल secular type of people but in reality they were not secular at all let us discuss one of the mogul emperor aurangzeb was aurangzeb a hero or villain of the indian history in the annals of indian history few figures evoke as much controversy and division as aurangzeb the sixth mughal emperor while some view him as a devout ruler and a formidable administrator others see him as a symbol of tyranny and religious intolerance in recent times there has been a disturbing trend of attempts to glorify aurangzeb portraying him as a hero and defending his actions however history tells a different story one that underscores the dangers of idolizing a ruler whose legacy is stained with bloodshed and oppression Aurangzeb's reign unyielding religious jealousy Aurangzeb like his predecessors was determined to reinforce and expand the might of the Mughal empire across Hindustan his principal obsession was to live his life true to the guiding principles of Sharia but his personal adherence to sharia was not enough aurangzeb sought to enforce sharia on every muslim in hindustan and penalize non muslims unless they embraced islam thus began the era of religious persecution that ended only with his death the farman of 1659 in 1659 aurangzeb issued a farman stating that while existing temples would not be demolished no new ones would be allowed this order was a direct enforcement of islamic law while old temples would not be destroyed repairing them was forbidden early signs of fanaticism aurangzeb's religious jealousy was evident from his youth at 17 he demolished the great temple built by bir singh in orcha on shah jahan's orders and constructed a mosque on the site a decade later as the governor of gujarat aurangzeb destroyed many temples in ahmedabad and other areas during his second governorship of the deccan he bragged about destroying a hill top temple and stopping temple dancers muralis from practicing their profession he even beheaded a brahmin revenue officer for speaking ill of the prophet a subdued campaign during the first decade of his reign aurangzeb toned down his campaign against hindus though temple demolitions persisted in 1665 he ordered that recently restored temples be pulled down in urissa his officers were 
instructed to demolish every idol house built in the last decade whether of brick or clay renewed zeal post 1668 in 1668 aurangzeb realized he had not done enough to promote islam in the 10 years since he ascended the throne the prosperity of hindus after 500 years of muslim rule in hindustan was intolerable to him he renewed his campaign with vigor in 1669 he ordered governors of all provinces to destroy all temples and schools of the infidels stopping all idolatrous worship car loads of idols were transported from rajasthan to delhi to be cast in the courts quadrangle under the jama masjid steps to be trodden upon the somnath temple incident in the last year of his reign amid the hopeless war against the marathas aurangzeb wrote to his officers in gujarat expressing concerns about the somnath temple he instructed them to ensure its destruction and expel every worshipper he ordered the demolition of the temple in pandharpur the slaughter of temple cows and the butchers of his came to butchers of his came to desecrate the site aurangzeb's systematic policy aurangzeb's ancestors including akbar demolished temples but their actions were random and impulsive in contrast aurangzeb's temple demolitions were part of a systematic state policy he sought to restrict hindu festivals like holi and diwali ordering that no illuminations be allowed he demolished the practice of sti and banned the shia muharram procession mughals were sunnis religious discrimination and conversion policies in 1671 aurangzeb ordered that only muslims hold revenue office positions in crown lands intending to induce conversions through the lure of office this policy largely failed although some hindus converted for the benefit of office conclusion aurangzeb's reign was marked by on yielding religious fanaticism and intolerance his systematic persecution of non-muslims and enforcement of sharia law solidified his legacy as a tyrant tyrant aurangzeb's actions serve as a stark reminder of the consequences of religious extremism and the importance of religious intolerance understanding aurangzeb's policies and actions provides a comprehensive view of his reign and the suffering it caused why is aurangzeb a controversial king decoding myth and reality november 3 has historical significance because it is the birthday of india's most controversial king of all time despite the passage of 3 centuries mohiddin aurangzeb alamgir the 6th mughal emperor still remains as a sensational topic of heated discussion in political and religious scenario to simplify he is the second longest reigning king in the mogul empire ruling over 150 million people for nearly a half century from 1658 to 1707 and expanding the reign to its greatest extent by subsuming most of mainland india under one single imperial dominance for the first time why is he so disputed aurangzeb is the single historical figure in indian history who has been the prime target of communal outrage and his character has been tainted by various subjective propaganda over the years his historical 
persona is not treated as a Mughal emperor but rather as a mysterious figure of bigotry and ruthlessness. His identity varies across geopolitical areas. For instance, in the perception of many Indians, he is a villain who massacred countless Hindus and raised many temples. On the contrary, in the eyes of the majority of Pakistanis, he is a valorous hero and spiritual saint. He is that is because he was practicing orthodox muslim he did not much al- he did not touch alcohol and did not pick up personal expenses from royal treasury this religious piety has no job with his political administration wherein many got misconstrued in today's political scenario his name is used as a dog whistle to signal that it is a susceptible to changes of hatred and violence against present day Muslims in India as an act of retaliation. He is often alleged by leftist, far rightist and even colonial historical approaches for religious fanaticism, discriminatory Hindus policy. Jajia takes imposition, ruthlessness towards his relatives and temple demolition. Historical distortions around are rooted in British imperial interest to validate the legitimacy of British rule over the Mughal Empire through its defamation. This was done by imperial scholarship in 1870s, especially in the compilation of the history of India as told by its own historians which purported to be objective about the Mughals era. Many far-sight historians wrote Vesey fiercely about him for instance in the work of Saurabh Lohu Gonkar. However, there are three major issues by which Alamgir has been Pounded by the most first is Jajia takes reinforcement on Hindus. It is argued that he forcefully imposed the Jajia tax on Hindus, which was once shunned by Akbar the Great. However, there are this question can be challenged by many works of prominent historians. An Indian medieval historian, Harbans Mukhya described this matter very clearly that Jajia tax is 1.25% annual revenue of an individual's income and enacted on only wealthy Hindus such as Brahmins in return for their security. On other hand, a Muslim individual has to pay 2.50% of his annual income as a zakat. In conclusion, writing John Aurangzeb deserves more academic proficiency. Thank you for watching this video. Namaskar, my dear.